Hey everybody, Matty Ice here, and in today's video I'm going to take you through the new Savathun Spire car that's available from week 6 or week 7, depending on if you're getting into it late, and also how you can complete the Embaru Engine Part 2 challenge. Now if you do find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to the channel, as it really helps me out. Now let's talk about where this first card is here. So at the very end of Savathun Spire, right before you get to the final boss, if you've done the doors correctly, you can plant a rally flag, but on the gated door to the right, so you can see the three that are open for bosses, the one that's gated to the right is going to have this little floating card next to it. Now once you deposit that card in the lectern, you're going to want to go ahead and load up the Embaro engine. Now if you've never done Embaro engine before, you have to go ahead and load up the test of cunning. In this test, you have to determine which chest is the right one to open. Now you do not want the one that looks like a little squid, you want the one that has like this little dangle spiky bit at the bottom. So you want to go ahead and find that one. I recommend putting on a chest finder mod just to really help locate all these chests. The first part is pretty easy, chest right in front of you and then there's these three up here. But after that there's like 20 chests in this room and it's just a lot easier if you have one of these finder mods on. So go ahead and do that and then once you find all of those chests and complete this test of cunning, you have to progress to the next area which is why you needed that card. That card is what allows you to pass the door and continue on to part two. Now on your way to part two, there are gonna be a few little traps. They're pretty obvious and easy to avoid. The first one here is really the trickiest one because it's immediately after you open the door. But after that, it's just a bunch of rolling spike pins that you can pretty easily dodge. So make your way up through the second elevator. Do not go into the portal as that'll just take you back downstairs and proceed to the door that should be right in front of you or potentially right behind you depending on how you face when you come out. For me, it's right in front of me. It's going to be the only door that opens. Now, once you get into this room, you're going to load up the test of strength. Now, this one actually isn't that challenging, but it takes a minute if you don't find the deep site. I, it took me a second because I was just running around shooting things because I didn't know where the deep site was or that there even was a deep site. But that deep site is just going to give you the starting location for this little puzzle. And it really isn't that challenging. And it seems to be in the same order every time. So if you just want to follow along, that works too. But kill the knight that these footprints lead to, and then you essentially just have to follow the arrow that the plate knight was standing on. The code for this is that if you kill a knight, you have to go to the next one, and if you kill a cursed thrall, you have to go to the next, the, the one after that. So you have to skip one. Now this seems to be, like I said, in a set order, where the first three are knights, and then the last ones are all cursed thrall. So you pretty much just have to skip every single thing after you kill that first curse thrall. I don't know if they'll eventually mix this order up later on, but like I said, I've done it twice and it's been the exact same. Strand is also pretty helpful here just for maneuvering around if you want to grapple, but otherwise just platform around and it shouldn't take you too long. I think if you know what you're doing, it should only take a few minutes. The tricky part is when you're going through the walls, you just have to make sure you line up correctly, especially on this part where you have to skip one because then you're going through two walls. But otherwise, you know, just follow the arrow and just follow where that next arrow leads and it's easy peasy. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, again, I'm sorry it's a little late. I didn't realize this happened last week. I didn't play too much. But I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to the channel. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.